Hey, how you doing? You know what? I want to talk to you about sustainability, hook and line fish, U.S. flag boats. I want to talk to you about what's happening in San Diego, Point Loma. Uh, one time the greatest fishing fleet in the world, the largest tuna fishing fleet in the world. We've got some long line boats coming back over from Hawaii now on a regular rotating basis. And one of the great fish that they're bringing in, not to scale, is the opa. Okay. Yes, the opa, giant barbecued potato chip. Midwater pelagic species, kind of cool little thing. I'm gonna put them right over here. But what I wanna show you is, this is a full filet of the fish. And I wanna show you, if you look at this line, you see this line right in here? Okay, this is the belly section, and the belly section is a little denser has a high fat content and it's kind of like it's kind of like a pork chop if you will okay it's got that density to it it's got fat to it it's got structure this is a great piece of fish right in here that's a little different than everything else then in the center you can see right in here how the line is right here this is the center loin and this piece right here is primo. This is like uh, this is like a number one grade tuna. You could eat this raw. You could sear it off. You could do some great, great things to it. And then of course we have the back top strap, which is this piece here. Okay, and it has a tendency to have uh, some muscle tissue in there and stuff like that. But what I'm doing today is I just want to show you a couple things. Okay. I want to talk to you about breaking it down. Utilize this filet at your restaurant to bring your margin up, your cost down, and basically the owner of the restaurant off your ass because you're making him some money and showing him how to do it. So you can see the sinew and the tendons here. Okay, so there's a little line there, and if you get your finger in there, you can run your finger back and forth along that line. See, and it'll open right up for you, okay? So what you do is you just take your knife and we're just gonna run it right along that line there and we're gonna pull that off. Now, you can see that it's full of fat and tendon, okay? There's not really a whole lot of use for this. You can chop it up, run it through a meat grinder, throw it in some chowder, chada, stuff like that. So I'm gonna cut this belly strap out, okay? And just like that. Now. Look at this. Okay, you can see the difference. There was a little bit of the, uh, the center loin here that we talked about earlier, right in here. But you can see the density of this piece of fish here. Okay, now, the same thing, you can run your finger right along the line. Okay, you separate it right along there. Bring it out, just like that. We're gonna take our knife we're just gonna run it right down the center here okay and there you have it now you see how the fish kind of separated here okay we're just gonna keep running our finger back and forth there and that is see the line here there's another little loin in there that you lift on it and it'll come out. So this is the center loin, very sweet in flavor, really nice cut of fish, okay? Again, we follow the line and we're, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna make a little cut on one side of it, okay? And we're gonna bring it right down into the bloodline. And there's the bloodline and the tissue and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is, here. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to shave this down. Okay, because in the restaurants, they don't want the dark meat. So you just want to work with it like that. Now look at that beautiful piece of fish. And what's really nice about this is the way that it stakes out. Look at that steak, that's a great piece of fish. So again, we're gonna work on the top loin 
and it's the same thing. You can see the difference in the loins, okay? You have a ruby pinkish red, this is more of an orange red, and then of course you have the belly, okay? So three different kinds of meat, ready? This is the top loin, this is the center loin, ruby red, like a tuna almost, and then you have, we'll call this the 50-50 ice cream bar or something, you know, it's very orange. So the opa, it's super flavorful, it's got great oil, great fat content, this is a great value for local restaurants and stuff. You can make everything from tacos to sear it like you would high grade tuna, and it's a wonderful, wonderful piece of fish. Salads. Uh, we have a couple sushi bars using it. So, if you're not really sure on what to do with this, come down and see us at Catalina. We'll cook some of this stuff up. We'll show you how to make bacon out of the Opa belly. Okay, for us old guys, that'd be me. Can't eat bacon anymore, and I'm not going to eat turkey bacon. But I'll eat this the way I'll show you. So that's what we got. OPA, think sustainability, think local hook and line harvested. We'll see you next time.